it's Matt from Music Speaks, and today I'm chatting with the awesome um, Mercedes from Courage with uh, Courage My Love. How are you doing? I'm good. How about you? I'm very, very well. Thank you. Very well indeed. Um, so you guys have just released your new album, Synesthesia. How's the fan reaction been, and how's it all going? Oh, it's good. Honestly, um, a lot better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest, uh, because it was kind of, I know we went a different direction with this record, and mm -hmm. we kind of took some risks sonically, so I knew it was going to be kind of a polarizing thing, where like, you know, you either love it or you don't like it, Yeah. but I think, you know, it seems like we've got a really positive reaction, and I'm really happy about that, and yeah, we'll just see what happens. Awesome. So where do you where do you take the inspirations for your songs from? Um, for the lyrics and everything, we kind of write from our own personal sure. experiences, and so Phoenix and I are the two main writers yeah. on all songs. And um, yeah, this record wasn't exactly like a I wouldn't call it like a album or anything, but definitely. The songs all have sort of the same vibe and yeah. the same general theme. Okay. Um, so I felt like this record was sort of, it was definitely a, like a therapy record for us because all three of us in the band were going through sort of a rough period in our mm. lives when we wrote it. And uh, you always end up writing about what you're going through at the time. Yeah, so yeah. it all just kind of came together that way and, you know, now the clouds have parted and the record's out and it's kind of cool to go back and look back at that time but be in this time yeah. now. Yeah, no, that's really cool. It's quite, I guess it's like, yeah, as you say, it's a bit like chronicling like what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah awesome. for sure. Definitely. So so what's next? I gather there's like a big tour planned. Yeah, so we actually have, we just announced our European tour, which yeah. I'm really excited about. So Europe and the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the spring, so I'm really excited for that, and all the dates are up on our website if you want to check it out. Yeah, awesome. Um, we have a couple dates in the U.S. that we just announced as well, Wicked. and we have some more plans after that, but uh, to be plan. announced. So. <laughs> awesome. Um, so yeah, has anything really scary like ever happened to you guys on tour? Has anything kind of... Uh, we're really lucky in the sense that, like... We've never had anyone break into our van. I'm going to knock on wood right now. Um, <laughs> so that's great because I know a lot of bands have to deal with stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, if there's anything scary that's happened, it's just like random little oh. things. Like yeah. one time we like got kicked out of a hotel room and we were just like, oh no, we're the stereotype. No. <laughs> uh, but, you know... It's ne we've never had anything like really bad happen yet, well, that's so good. we're lucky. <laughs> Fingers crossed, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, do you guys remember like the first song you ever performed live and what it was or anything, or is that all a distant memory? <laughs> yeah, it's. <sighs> was it like one of your own, or would you think it was a cover, or? Um, I think it was a song Phoenix and I wrote because back then it was just the two of us. We sure. didn't even have a bass player. So we were doing kind of like a White Stripes thing where she was <laughs> on the drums, I was on guitar, and like that was it. Cool. Um, and I think it was called Lights, Camera, Action, but I don't... I, I'm pretty sure it was that song. Cool. But yeah, that was one of our first songs. Nice. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, so um, what really grinds your gears? What grinds my gears? Yeah. Um, oh, um, when people n name drop in a very oh, okay. not organic way in a conversation. <laughs> so, like, it's, you know, whatever. It's cool if you know cool people. And if it comes up organically, it's like, oh, yeah, that's awesome, man. That's sweet. <laughs> but if it's clearly just trying to, like, you know, show how important you are yeah, and who you know, you know like, <laughs> it's like oh it, I ha it grinds my gears so much and I just ha I end up like just kind of my eyes kind of glaze over and I'm like mm. <laughs> that's nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like I that's my <laughs> <laughs> um so is there anything other than music that you're really sort of passionate about yeah um there's a lot of things. I mean, food. I really like food. <laughs> Me um, too. <laughs> to, 
it and to cook it, actually. It's, you know, like that. Um, when I was in my teens, I was very into human rights and social justice, and that's still part of me. I'm, I'm maybe not as active in it now as I should be, but uh, that's still something that I'm passionate about. Mm. And, oh, my sister and I both love 80s horror movies. That's, like, awesome. our favorite on the planet we love 80s horror movies <laughs> very cool <laughs> um you don't have to answer this but what's the most embarrassing thing you think's happened to you um oh man there's so many things that, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's which um, one to well, choose kind of a cool, i don't know if it's the most it's i don't know it was pretty bad like on stage one time i like rock out and my hair i have like long hair so my hair was flipping everywhere and I like whipped my hair back and it got caught on the speaker above the stage <laughs> and it was it would suck there pretty oh, good no. like I couldn't just like move my head and it would move oh, no. like so I was stuck there and I'm pl- I play guitar and sing too so I didn't re- I couldn't really like oh, no you had to like take your head untangle out. Myself. <laughs> yeah I was stuck there for a while and then I had to get back to the microphone so I just like God, yanked oh. my hair and I thought like okay good it's done but then you know I look back to that spot and I there was still like I must have <laughs> yanked it but there was still a chunk of hair just like hanging there that's hilarious like it scalped me sort of and my scalp was just like <laughs> like hanging there like a pride or something so I was just like oh. like the rest of the show I, oh it, just it was that. funny yeah, but so distracting. I could tell people were like looking up at the hair every now and then. And just, oh, oh, that is hilarious. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah, that's, really that's, funny. A, that's a good one. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what music have you been listening to most recently? I guess you have to listen to a lot of your own because you're practicing for tour. But yeah, what else have you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I actually have, I, you know, been listening to our album a yeah. lot. But um, I listen to this band called My Bloody Valentine oh, yeah, yeah. a lot. And they're like a shoegazy band from yeah. the 90s. I get a lot of inspiration from them for their like cool guitar tones and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, cool. And there's this other band that uh, my friend actually just told me about called Nothing. And it's kind of like a more modern-y version of the shoegaze type of sound. So. Okay. Weird kind of stuff like that. That sounds cool. Um, mm. So, what's the best film you've seen lately? Ooh, um, lately. Uh, I just saw Split in theaters, and oh, it was pretty good. I want to see that. Oh yeah, it's it's you know, and my Shyamalan, so good. Um, of <laughs> course, there's a twist, but I'm not going to tell yeah. you what the twist is, but. <laughs> There's a there's a M Night Shyamalan what a twist moment at the end, <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was pretty good. I like that movie. Cool. So if a fa- film was made about your life, who would you want to play you? Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> it's a good one. It's a really good one. Okay, so I'm obsessed with uh, Numi Rapace. She's like a Swedish actress, okay. and she was in. You might know her from. Um, the girl with the dragon tattoo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's in Prometheus yeah. and movies like that. So oh. she's awesome, and she looks nothing like me. I look nothing like uh, her, you know. but she's really cool. So I probably want her to do it. <laughs> awesome. Um, and last kind of main question: What's the best advice you've ever been given? Oh. I know these are deep questions. <laughs> so deep. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of really good advice I've had over the years, though. Um, Don't get your hair cut I, in a speaker. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> we actually recording this record. Um, we had uh, David Bendis producing on it, and he is just a well of wisdom, basically. So, and like Anything I said, when him. we were writing it, there was, and also recording it, there, there was stages where we were all just kind of really down and sad, and so. He gave me a really good piece of advice, basically saying, like, um, when you're in your 20s and, you know, like, you're 21 or you're 22 or whatever, like, the early 20s, that is probably the hardest stage of 
your life because you've gone through your teens. You are still figuring out who you are. Yeah. But you're there's an expectation for you to already know and to know what yeah, you want yeah. to do with your life or anything like that. Um, but he said, if you can just make it to like 25 or 27, you get over that hump and everything, like the, you know, everything becomes clear and you kind of stop caring about the pressure that's put on you yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So I'm not there yet. I'm only 23, but uh, <laughs> I, the advice kind of helped me sort of, you know, make my five-year plan and sort of... Um, keep things in perspective and remember that like you know the things that I'm really stressed or worried about right now won't be the same things that I'm worried about a couple of years from now yeah. so no, that's some good advice I, pretty I good like advice <laughs> um so normally I finish my interviews with a game of would you rather are you up for that or are you is that not your kind of thing I'm up for it okay. yeah let's do it cool so the, the really tame ones Friday night. <laughs> so the really tame ones what um would you rather have a third eye or third arm honestly i'm a guitar player so i'd rather have a third arm yeah because i feel like i could do so much more cool stuff hold the mic so. with one hand and still be playing guitar <laughs> yeah exactly or like play other instrument like a keyboard or who knows the options are endless and i think i literally have said Oh, if only I had another arm. So, yeah, definitely a third arm. <laughs> Would you rather be super strong or super fast? <sighs> super fast, I think. Because then you could, like, you know, travel the world really fast. Yeah. <laughs> just get there, like, beep. Or you could just shred And I'm late really all fast. the time. Just like, always guitar. late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That would help my lateness, because I'm late for almost everything, so... <laughs> We weren't late for this, you know. so huzzah. Oh, I wasn't, I guess. I still <laughs> missed your call, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I feel like super speed would definitely help me out in that <laughs> department. <laughs> would you rather go through life unable to ask any questions or unable to answer any questions? Definitely unable to answer, because yeah. I would, I like, asking questions... Maybe that's a kind of a uh, selfish on my part. It's just I love when people can answer my questions and I'm so curious about things. And I, if you want to learn about things, yeah. it would be so frustrating to if never ask. get answers. <laughs> so if I can never answer a question, maybe my credibility would go down <laughs> a little bit. But whatever. At least I'd still be able to get the answers that I need. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, would you rather live in a Disney universe or a Looney Tunes universe? Oh my god. <clears throat> Disney, I think. Because it's more broad. Yeah. And Looney Tunes, for me, I don't know why, it's sort of like a nightmare. Yeah, it like, never ends. <laughs> yeah, it's scary, I don't know. Like, even as a kid, I don't know. I was always just like, oh, like I got that into Looney Tunes. So, um, huh, it's so violent, I don't know. But I'm into Disney stuff for sure. There's a lot of good Disney movies out there, oh. so... Disney. <laughs> cool. Um, so these are slightly more awkward ones. Would you rather always speak your mind or never speak again? Oh, I guess always speak my mind. <laughs> At least you're truthful then. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I feel like I do, like, in my lyrics anyway, like, you know, I'm a polite person, but then I'm like, I'm like, write a song for all Would you rather I have to like, always speak? <laughs> Fair enough. Would you rather always have to listen to Gangnam Style or Harlem Shake for the rest of your life? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying to think. I guess... Uh, I guess Gangnam Style. Yeah. I don't know. Everyone always says Harlem it, Shake. I'd, I'd go for Gangnam Style myself. <laughs> yeah, de definitely. <laughs> At least know. you can dance to it, it a bit. <laughs> yeah. And it seems the lesser of the two evils. <laughs> and I always liked his pants. Like, he had, had cool... Those pants were swaggy, you know? So, I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and these are kind of the more most awkward ones. Would you rather eat a live slug or drink a pint of gone-off milk? Or tanned oh, milk? Man. Definitely think... Oh, the slug. Yeah. Because it's so small, right? They're yeah. probably like that. Yeah. Maybe like that at most. And I have, by accident, had, like, bad milk in, before in the past, and it scarred me for life. <laughs> Fair enough. So, <laughs> so from experience. Yeah. Um, 
And last one. Would you rather use sandpaper for toilet paper or vinegar for eye drops? Oh. <laughs> the pain. <sighs> Oh, man. I guess I'm going to have to go with the vinegar. Yeah, I think you could wash it out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and it just seems like at least vinegar, you, people use it to clean stuff yeah. sometimes. Like, So at least it would somewhat, like, it would hurt, but it might not, like, it would still clean your eyes. I feel like the same paper, I'm not even, it would just be, like, just horrible. It doesn't even bear thinking about. <laughs> yeah, so, and sometimes, you know, when you put eye drops in, you like the, like, the way it kind of, I don't know, like stings your eyes a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, so I get dry eyes or whatever. I put visine in sometimes. It's like, I'm not, sometimes I like the way it kind of stings <laughs> my eyes. Vinegar is probably a whole other level. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thank you very, very much for taking the time to talk to me today. And um, I also want to say a huge thanks to Chris Perry because he set this up, which is brilliant um it's honestly been a real pleasure pleasure talking to you and, and can't wait to see what you have in store um obviously good luck on your on your tour that sounds awesome uh, and i'm hoping i'm yeah. gonna try and catch a date if i can on the tour which would be really good that would be great literally just let us know and we'll guest list you and yeah we'll awesome. hang out it'll be sweet thank you very much <laughs> well thank you